what's up you guys welcome back to my channel i really appreciate you tuning in so as i mentioned i will be adding cooking baking smoothies to my channel um yes i'm a hairstylist but like shaka khan said i'm every woman it's only me <laughs> So I'm an every woman, you guys. I'm more than just a hairstylist. So on my channel, you're going to be seeing a variety of things. You also are going to be seeing some self-help stuff for your hair. You know, for self-love. I have a variety of videos and upload and self-love and hair and all of that on my channel so thank you so much and please consider subscribing so you guys i just came off vacation my husband and i we went to south georgia only about a couple of hours from atlanta and um, we stayed in an airbnb a big house that was built in the early 1900s historic house and we uh, were on vacation for an entire week and so um, here, I'm in the Airbnb right now, and I'm making some spaghetti. So um, you can just take a peek here. So I'm dicing up. Usually when I make spaghetti, I put green peppers and onions in mine. I really, really love onions. I love raw onions and cooked onions. And onions are in the garlic family. So if you look up what um, the benefits of onions are there, there's a lot of great healthy benefits, believe it or not, for eating onions as well as garlic. So this time I didn't put any garlic. Sometimes I put like fresh garlic. I will chop and mince up some garlic. This time I didn't. So you guys, you see me, um, I diced up the green peppers and now I'm dicing up some onions. Usually when I first initially cut the onion, like you just saw me do, I rinse it off. That'll cut back on some of the, um, you know, how onions will kind of make your eyes water. So when I first cut the onion, I'll rinse it off with water just to try to help it not make your eyes water as bad. So anyway, I'm just chopping it up as fine as I can. I could have an onion chopper, but I usually just use a knife. Now we're, like I said, in the Airbnb, but this knife right here, I was loving it. It was really nice and sharp. Of course, I put the onion and the green pepper that I didn't use in a Ziploc bag. So now I'm gonna saute the green peppers and the onions. So I usually use a little olive oil. This is a nonstick pot, nonstick pan. And this this is a pot that they had in the Airbnb. Now this Airbnb didn't have um, that many pots, but they did have a set of pots. And I think it had three or four pots with it. They had this big pot, that smaller pot that I'm gonna cook the pasta in. And like a frying pan looking pot, but they were nonstick. So I'm just sauteing just to make sure that I get these green peppers and onions, you know, at least halfway cooked before I add my ground beef in there. So you guys, now I'm adding in the ground beef. So I add the ground beef in and of course I cook that I cook that down. Kind of break that up. And kind of let that cook. You see it's going now. Kind of stirring that up, moving that around so as to make sure that it cooks evenly. So I'm just stirring and breaking up the ground beef as I go with this spoon. And of course, um, a lot of the oil and the fat is gonna kinda burn off of the, from the ground beef, it's gonna come off of the ground beef. So I'm continuing to stir and mix up this, these green peppers, these onions, 
as well as the ground beef. So now I'm adding some Italian seasoning. If you don't recognize this brand here, I don't recognize it myself. Again, we're in South Georgia, um, about two hours away from Atlanta, but you know, they have different stores there than they may have in Atlanta. So now I'm adding oregano. So usually with cooking, you guys, you know, you want to add seasonings to your taste because, you know, it may look like I'm putting a lot in here, but I'm really not measuring out. I'm just kind of, when I cook, now I'm adding some thyme in there. And, you know, all of those seasonings are great for spaghetti. And so, like I was saying, when you're cooking, not when you're baking, but when you're cooking, you can pretty add to your taste so this is light salt my husband and I we don't use a lot of salt we don't eat a lot of salt so we use this light salt it's by Morton's and it's called light salt so now you guys I'm gonna strain the ground beef and you see I've strained it meaning that I've removed that oil you see all of that oil that came from the ground beef, the fat. So I strain that off and of course throw that out down the sink. And then I put it back and rinse out the pan, wash it out, the pot. Wash that out and get that oil. Now my husband, you guys, he had already bought some ragu. So I'm adding two jars of ragu. Now, normally when I make my homemade spaghetti, I do not use ragu, so I don't know why he got that. Normally, when I make it from scratch, like what I'm doing, homemade, I add um, two cans of tomato paste. I, add a, I also add a big can or a couple of cans, just depending on how much I'm making. I may add one big can of tomato sauce or two cans, just depending on how much spaghetti I'm making. Two large cans of tomato sauce, and then I'll add um, some diced tomatoes, a can of diced tomatoes, a large can of diced tomatoes. So that makes the spaghetti kind of chunkier, like when you add the diced tomatoes, like if you want your spaghetti to be kind of chunky like meaty like not as soupy not as saucy if you want to add a little oomph to it i add like a large can of diced tomatoes and so you saw the noodles i, I cooked the noodles now i'm just making us a salad so i did use the bag salad um which is the salad already in the bag the lettuce which is so convenient Usually, if I'm gonna do like use lettuce that's not in the bag, I just get the romaine lettuce, rinse that off, and chop it up, drain it off in a colander, get the water, remove the water, you know, kind of pat it with a um, paper towel to remove the water because it seems like lettuce really, really absorbs and soak up water. So, whenever you rinse it off, clean it off, you know, in a colander. A strainer you can just go ahead and pat it off with paper towel to remove some more of that water so just cutting up some tomatoes and some onions and I'm this knife is sharp loving this knife and this cutting board so my cutting boards that I have at home are both I think one of them is plastic the other one is wood so I have them two at home so I love you guys, it's um, Paul Newman's Italian dressing. My husband picked that up. That's the one store we went to down there, they didn't have it. So he went to another store and they had it. But I usually like that, that family Italian. He got the zesty Italian, but it's they're both delicious, the Paul Newman. Sometimes I get the Paul Newman um, 
I just like their, uh, I like his dressing. It's delicious. So now I'm just plating up the food with some garlic bread. My, my husband loves bread. <laughs> you guys, it was delicious. Oh, my God.